What is up, everybody? It's your boy, Sully the Great One, back at it again. And this time, I'm with the one and only Keysar. He decided to join us today. And uh, first things first, I just want to let everybody know, thank you for all the, the likes and subscribes. It really means a lot to us. Um, so without further ado. Yeah, thanks for the support. Yeah. Let's get right into the news. Let's do it. Boom. Bah. Bah. No? Yeah, I think you can... Um... So first thing up on the news today is going to be for you Fortnite players out there. Huge news coming from Epic Games and the Fortnite community. This year in 2019, players at Fortnite sponsored events have the ability to win $100 million in prizes. That is some of the biggest prize pools we've seen in quite some time. I think what League of Legends and Call of Duty. No, League been. of Legends. It's more Dota. Dota two. Dota two. Yeah. No, oh, he's one of those players. I don't play those games. I don't play. I'm playing the, the shooters on the, the controllers and stuff like that. So yeah. Yeah. You don't like strategy games, is what you're trying to say? Yeah. 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 I, oh, stra you know, I, I like strategy games, but those games are just weird. I don't know. Um, up next is one big hurrah. For uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, uh, they just sold their 10 million millionth million millionth millionth millionth. They said they the yeah. 10 millionth copy of their video game, which is fantastic. They've been out for two what two years now? Yeah, 20, two years. 2017, uh, pretty big news for them. Congratulations! It shows it shows what um, quality games will do. They yeah. sustain a lot longer. This game's nuts. The graphics are nuts. I think it's still up there. It's one of the best graphics games. It is my On the blowing. PS4, yeah. yeah. Hands down. It's a so, beautiful game. Um, congrats to that studio. Congrats to their hard work. It's yeah. amazing. Uh, couldn't agree more. Um, moving on. So Bungie split from Activision. A lot of us, if you haven't heard, this happened. And um, since the split, they're now going to do their first content. So this is going to be just their creative decisions and just their, like... Um, just what they envisioned for the game, for Destiny 2. And Destiny 2 does have a huge following, so it's really exciting. They're really going to... They're making all their changes now for the players. And now they're also putting in a thing where if you are a player, you've been playing this game for you know, the length of this, you know, that this title's been out, now you can get your friends to play, and within an hour, they can be at your power level, which was a big request asking, like, with all the players who've been playing this forever right. and asking, because they, they can't get their friends into it because there's a huge, like learning gap right. so i've been one of those players too that uh, i was so excited for destiny 2 when it first came out because i was so disappointed in destiny 1 um the godson 87 you know who that is uh, mr davis yeah. we're a big big time gamer yeah. one of our buddies he loves destiny and plays it all the time he's been a, a try hard a loyal fan and in a good way try hard in a good way of playing this video game and I, I give him a bunch of credit because I couldn't stand it yeah. uh, when it came out. I played through the story, it was very short again. Uh, the multiplayer piece was good but it was very repetitive and it just wasn't very entertaining. Uh, he's trying to get me to come back um, and this might entice me to actually jump back in there with them and, and really hit up that PvP um, style gameplay again and, and get back to his power level because that's yeah. one of the big things. I tried to come back before and I couldn't hang at all because the power levels were so different. Now, granted, I didn't have the guns and stuff, and I guess light level and stuff played a role in yeah. it. Yeah. So that's all. It's, that's supposed to all. It's supposed, supposed to all be kind of not solved, but helped. Um, their biggest, most popular game mode now, Gambit, is getting a big, big like revamp. They're putting a lot more, uh, a lot right. more uh, love into that too. In other news, the speaking of a Destiny S <laughs> type of game, um, EA released Anthem about a week ago and let me tell you that is a pile of hot garbage oh, gosh. one of the worst and overhyped video games of all time has come out i think people were giving it like sixes fives um it didn't do very well the server suck um gameplay is just not what it was supposed to be um there's some people out there like they love it all of a sudden but let me tell you do not waste your money it's a pile of hot steaming dogs. I'm going to bleep that. Okay, yeah. Moving on. Um, the Devil May Cry 5. So in about a week, you can start killing demons again. And it's back. And the graphics are nuts. Um, just today or yesterday, um, Capcom released a video explaining the entire history 
of Devil, Devil May Cry in 120 seconds. Um, you could definitely argue that it does not do the franchise justice, but it gets the people who see this title um, to be like, wow, what is this? And, you know, jump in. Or, you know, people who weren't old enough or weren't around during the first four, t- four, four uh, installments of the franchise. Devil May Cry in... And uh, which Castlevania su- uh, stories are always like this. It feels like, yeah. Describe yeah, that. This is not very good for my arm right now. Use your words. Use your words. <laughs> Excuse me. Use your words, John. <laughs> and in other news, we are looking at Overwatch releasing a new healer support character. Uh, the name is Baptiste. But Baptiste. But we're gonna go with Baptiste. Um, sh- it's pretty interesting. Uh, some of the, the it, they got a three round burst gun, which is the first time ever in Overwatch. Um, their healing mechanism is the grenade launcher attached to the gun, so you can shoot like these grenades that do uh, damage to enemies and also heal yeah. your uh, person, kind of like Ana's uh, grenade. The good thing is Ana's grenade is still more powerful. Um, the the little grenades don't really heal. I think for maybe like seventy five to one hundred HP. I mean that might be okay. Um, but you know, it's not very effective, slow, sh- you know, fire rate with those grenades. He looks a lot like the soldier, the, who's the soldier 70. Yeah. Soldier, yeah. He looks, he looks a lot like that. Yeah. I mean, his, his gun's pretty powerful. I think it's a healer. I think it's the first time a support, pl- uh, healer can actually do a lot of damage from a, uh, kill perspective, um, which is kind of nice because that three round burst is, does pretty well. Um, especially if you're a little bit close in the range of the contact. You probably want to play this character at a mid-range to close, especially with the grenades. Um, you got to get close to get a bunch of healing, and the three-round burst does lose volume as you back away, so that's a huge must. And then finally, he has a Lucio S type of heal where he can uh, heal people around him quickly. Um, so it's like 200 a pop, boom, and then there's a cooldown for like 13 seconds, I do believe. It sounds like he's going to have to be balanced. 13 just from 15. hearing just from hearing his kit, it sounds like he's going to have to be balanced. Maybe, t- maybe. I don't. Uh, I don't think it's going to be a true healer. It's going to be one of those instances where if you're going to run with him, you got to have still like an Ana on your team. So I don't think he'll hmm. be a, a good solo heal. I think that meta of two healers uh, uh, will be there, but I think it gets rid of that extra DPS player you're going to need. So for those of you that run two DPSs and two healers, I think you can pull away from an extra DPS because if you play this character, you're going to have the DPS there a little bit with the healing uh, piece. So then you could probably go with triple tanks uh, at that point, which might bring back the tank meta, which would be kind of interesting to see. The only problem is you won't be able to heal those tanks as quick as possible. Maybe if you use... uh, what Ana probably the the help she's out, on but yeah you know more strategy coming later Super Smash Brothers Ultimate news um, they did push Nintendo did push a, you know a minor update two point zero point one and this is just to fix all those like single player things that are broken King K rule can finally play the story mode again um, we are all still patiently waiting for the big three point zero in uh, next month I think they said April with the new you know Devil May R joker from persona 5 hmm. so we're excited about that yeah i'm super pumped for that i can't wait for uh, some of these updates to come i have my switch it's actually over here charging right here <laughs> i haven't played it in quite some time that thing's uh, two years old now i know happy birthday to the switch you're now two years old there's the games i have yep i have fortnite on there smash let's go pikachu in rocket league yeah and you know what i would tell you to add me but one thing that sucks about Nintendo is they don't actually know how to use gamer tags and things like that. It's, just, so, it's like more secure that way. Yeah, more secure my ass. <laughs> That's why Xbox is coming to this bad boy. Because The Last of Us 2 is confirmed for October release date, which is super exciting. Um, uh, a game that is interesting because, you know, the attention for all uh, PlayStation and their studios right now have been on the PS5. So this is going to be the last game kind of like The Last of Us was for PS3. It's kind of, empty. I don't know if anybody else caught on to that, but it's kind of like, you know there's a new console coming out for Sony when they make a Last of Us game. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like the mark of a new, uh, yeah. but The Last of Us is such a great game though. It's yeah, like, it yeah. holds you over until the new game comes out, or until the new console comes out, and this is what The Last of Us 2 is going to do. It's going to hold you over into that next generation of consoles. Yeah. So do us a huge favor. Send us home. What, what's the last grand story here? Dude, so Pokemon. Okay. Pokemon! Gotta catch you <laughs> Yeah, so Pokemon has some huge news besides the movie news. You know news. it's my destiny. Yep, 
Yep. And yeah, besides yeah. of this, the movie news of Detective Pikachu, which looks awesome, got Ryan yeah. Reynolds. Um, more Pokemon games are coming out. Um, Pokemon Sword and Shield have been announced. Um, there was like an eight minute video release of uh, all the director game directors at Game Freak talking about it and their hype about it. Whenever, whenever I see them talk, it's just such a different culture. They're so passionate about their games. This is why Pokemon is held like through all these years. Yeah. But yeah, they introduce um, all like the hard work they're doing, the new um, like how it's going to be on the Switch, how it's going to be not just like top down. They introduce the three new starters. Which look awesome, except for the fire one was like a bunny, which I don't know what what direction that's going. Yeah, but yeah, they um, um, we expect this game to be released. Well, they did say at the end of the year we expect it to be released kind of Thanksgiving time because that's when they they've always been released. You know, they're trying to take care of that Black Black Friday and then the yeah the holidays, yeah, the holiday but, rush, yeah holiday rush. So excited about that! I will be picking that up for the Switch. It's gonna be lit. All right. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Pokemon to close it out. That's huge news, huge gaming news. We're super pumped for it. Um, as always, thank you for all the love and support. We and we look forward it. to seeing it next week. You heard it from him. Yes. Deuces. <laughs>